while Djibouti port is seated at the heart of major international shipping lines linking Africa, Asia, and Europe, Djibouti Ports and Free Zones Authority is committed to widening the trade and logistics corridor beyond links to Addis Ababa to involve Juba, Kampala, and ultimately road to the Atlantic Ocean. The authorities' outreach to Kampala set pace to developments that seek multimodal infrastructure that will connect Kampala and Djibouti via road, railway, and air. In Djibouti, we have invested a lot mm. on ports. Mm. Uh, many uh, peoples in this part of the region, East mm. Africa, mm. they don't know about Djibouti. They and don't? Yes. That's true. And they don't even consider us as East African. Mm. <laughs> uh, we built five ports mm. the last 12 years. Mm. And the smallest port mm. is bigger than Mombasa. Mm. Yes. Mombasa is a 15 meters, huh? mm. the depth. We are minus 18. Mm. So we are handling not only cargo for Ethiopia mm. and in the landlord countries, mm. also transshipment. Okay. Uh, we uh, cargo from uh, Europe to from uh, Europe from Asia, from, uh, for South Africa, Mozambique, mm. Kenya, are dropped in Djibouti mm. and feed by small ships. But, okay. So uh, the corridor covering four countries: Djibouti, Ethiopia, South Sudan, and Uganda will only be certain provided affiliate countries such as Uganda open up to the proposal presented by the Ports Authority. Despite challenges to regional trade route provision such as Lapset for the Great Lakes region, the Ministry of Works contends with Uganda's position as key to regional trade and development, citing need for a feasibility study to be undertaken. I have all the potential and that's why my ministry right now is under very big pressure to develop the infrastructure to ensure that we facilitate fast movement of goods and people. We will follow the, the protocols as required. We'll have, uh, we call them by bilateral air service agreements with the Djibouti, and since my friend is already here, I don't think that would be but a uh, problem ah. to, to get the bilateral, bilateral air service agreements. Uh, I'll, uh, the challenge will be for us to do a study on the viability of the, when we take, what do we bring? Uh, or how can we connect? If we go to Djibouti, can we connect to Mogadishu? Juba, Juba, Djibouti. Uh, this, this is what we need to study. But otherwise, in terms of routes, we need more routes. Djibouti International Free Trade Zone holds signs of dominance as the largest in Africa. To the Business Forum Association, harmonization of the tax regime will be crucial to tap into the vast fruit market in the Horn of Africa, as the Minister of East African Affairs considers entering Memoranda of Understanding with Djibouti prior to ESC level negotiations. They have a very good product of the International Free Trade Zone. So we had an idea, as I wrote in a proposal, that if Uganda can request the Djibouti government uh, to, to reduce taxes from on, our pro, on our fruits and vegetables, mm -hmm. and also Uganda also reduces on the taxes on the goods which come from Djibouti free trade zone to here, mm -hmm. like uh, the Uganda airline can make double business. They take and bring back. So instead of going to Dubai, then we get goods from Djibouti, and we bring here. So there, the taxation regime, you have to think about that right on a Enter into some memorandums between Djibouti and Uganda as we progress to the other level of the ESC and others, because already we are together in IGAD, so we have somewhere to start. Chairman Abu Bekar Omar Hadi stresses Africa's disjointed transport network as factor to less providence in the logistics industry. On logistics, you cannot build surface transportation mm. parallel to a sea, you are going to lose. You cannot compete. Mm. If it has to be perpendicular. Mm. When the sea stop, take by train and, 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 and uh, they call that uh, land bridge. But if you build a Cairo to Cape Town, you cannot, you cannot pay back the money.
although Uganda is to as well undertake rail feasibility to link Gulu and Djibouti, there is a 250-kilometer road gap in South Sudan. A memorandum of understanding drafted in 2019 between the four countries is to be revisited to establish a start-off point. Ivan Tivenkana, Smart24 TV, Business Today.